Let's take a look at wrist strap lab procedures for MCO 455. You have to have a wrist strap or you're not going to be allowed into any of the MCO 455 labs. Reason for this is it's very easy to damage the Freedom K64s that are in the lab and we have no way of getting replacements because they're out of stock just about everywhere as you know. So nobody will be allowed in the labs without a wrist strap. Now you should have these in your ETY 155 kit and if you don't, then you should order it from Sayal, and I sent you a link about that a few days ago. Now, if you want to click here, it will take you to a video to show you how that is a problem with static discharge. And for Lab 2, and this is a link to Lab 2, if you do not have a wrist strap or there are any other reasons why you can't attend the lab, and there's some people that are out of the country or they don't have their VAX setups or whatever, I will be holding a Zoom meeting to cover Lab 2 details in the first of the two lab periods. Now in the second lab period of Lab 2, you will be doing the Lab 2 online quiz. And there will be three programs that you don't have to download to the board. So you don't have to physically be in the lab if you're in the country. You just have to be able to say, what errors do I have to correct in this? How many errors do I have to correct to make this code work? And by doing the Lab 2 stuff, you should be able to figure that out. So people that are in the lab, We'll be using the terminals in the lab after we've gone through some of the procedures and stuff for lab two the, specifically. So others not in the lab will be able to access the lab two quiz wherever they are in the world as you did for lab one. Now this is a kind of wrist strap that you probably have if you've got your ETY kit and it comes with an alligator clip here. We're not going to be using the alligator clip because there's no way we can easily clip onto anything metal because a lot of metal stuff is actually got paint on it and won't provide a proper ground connection. So we're just going to use this plug here. Now there's a couple things that could go wrong with this if you connect it up because if you don't test it before you use it, it may not be working and you can still do a lot of static damage to those Freedom K64. So a couple things that can go wrong. Number one, it's a little too loose and it's just hanging on your wrist. It's not going to provide proper contact. The other thing is that your skin, if it's very dry as it is this time of year, because during the winter when it's really cold, your skin gets really dry, then the contact between the little plate that's on the other side here and your skin won't be a good connection. So you may have to use moisturizer and even water will work as a moisturizer to provide proper contact between your skin and here. And if that's not there, it's not going to work. Every lab will have one of these. And the concept is here, you have to, when you first get to the lab, first thing to do is turn on the computers because they take forever to boot up. Once you do that, when the power's on, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to hook up your wrist strap to this device and make sure that it's working properly before you try and use it. So this will be the procedure we're going to be doing for every lab. So again, make sure your skin is not too dry, make sure it's not too loose. You're going to take this here and you're going to plug it into either one of these. It doesn't matter which one. And then what you're going to do, if you've got your wrist strap on your left wrist, you're going to take your index finger of your right hand and touch this metal plate here. And if the green light comes on and it beeps, it's perfectly working. If it doesn't, then you're going to have to go back and figure, well, is it too loose? Is my skin too dry? Do I have to moisturize? And then come back and check it again. So once you check it and if it doesn't work, you have to go to the back of the line because there will be a line up in the lab. And then until you get it working, then you can have a seat and then start working on the lab. If the green light comes on, you're good as it says. The green dot light does not come on. Check for being too loose check for your skin, and make sure that the power is on in the room, number one. So underneath each desk, there are two little connectors, one for each person uh, sitting at that bench, two yellow connectors, and you can connect the end of your wrist strap into that. But if that isn't there, because there's a couple places in some of the labs that don't have those under the middle of the bench. So what you have to do is then connect it up to this green connector on any of the meters or whatever they happen to be on the bench, because green is your earth ground. Black will not work. Do not connect them to this, but connect them up to the green connector here. Once you've had your wrist strap checked to make sure that it's working properly. Now, here's the thing. When you want to move from one place to another, just pull the cable, the wrist strap cable out of your thing. Do not take it off your wrist. If you take your wrist strap off your wrist, you're going to have to go back 
and check it again on the wrist strap checker here. So if you take it off the wrist, you have to check it again before you use it. And that's pretty much it for doing the wrist strap for this course.